Hey everyone, we are back to it. Killing all the ceiling spiders. Accidentally hitting our dogs and freaking out about it. Finding treasure? Oh, okay, it's not treasure. Actually finding treasure. Nice. Busting our dogs around. Hey there, Sam. And realizing that our base is way closer than we thought it was. And of course, getting puppies, killing cows, mining, successfully killing creepers. Wait, is that right? Making long term investments, killing witches, killing more cows, and sleeping. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Minecraft Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed that intro, and I hope you enjoyed the last episode, and thanks for coming back to this one. I'm just starting off here by, um, by clearing out some of this section. I want to try to take the base down to be a little tiny bit shorter. So I think I'm going to level it down to the whole entire base area. I think I'm going to level it down to about this level. So I'll be right back when I'm done with all that. Alrighty, so you may be wondering why I did an intro and then so quickly cut to this. I, um, that was actually mostly because of bad planning. And not even bad planning of, like, not even bad planning of the episode. It's actually bad planning of my base. You see now, the golden rule is to always make a base that has an odd number, that's an odd number wide. And as you can see here, one, two, three, four... I broke the golden rule, guys. I was I originally planned to put my enchant my enchantment table somewhere inside my base, but as you can see that didn't work out because I wanted to have it somewhere nice in the middle. And I of course didn't have a nice center for it. But now I think we're going to be just fine with this. Alrighty. 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 And alrighty. Oh, that's that's unsatisfying. Well, I'm going to have to leave it like that for now, because of a low budget. But, I think I'm ready to get my pickaxe looking a little bit better. I'm hoping for Fortune 3. Maybe some extra nice stuff. Unbreaking 3. Oh! I don't have 30 levels. I'll be right back. Alrighty. All that took was just mining one vein of quartz. Let's see what this can get us. Let's hope for something good. Hope for something good. Alright, well... It's something. That's cer it's certainly something. Now, of course, I could always put the effort into just trying to take the enchantments off of that pickaxe and just trying again, but I don't really feel like going quartz mining right now, which would be my best source of XP. So I think I'm going to get started on my, on my plans for today's episode, which consists of getting villagers over here. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to clear out a little bit of a space for the villagers to be in, and I'd like for it to be somewhere around this pool, since I think this pool looks pretty nice. And I'm going to be taking the villagers all the way from over there in that village far off on yonder. Hey everyone. So I got this area cleared out here. I have some wood from the trees and I have some stone bricks from smelting up some cobblestone earlier. I think I'm going to build the villagers area out of that for now. And if you're wondering how I got rid of those big trees that were here, honestly, I just use flint and steel. They're just too big and they're too time consuming for me to try to approach them. So I'm going to get building here, and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, very good, very good. Here is the villager house. I, would, <laughs> I actually initially planned for this to be temporary, but here we are with a full-on house. I might repurpose it to be a dog house or a cat house later, but here we go. We've got the beds. I should probably take this stone cutter out so the villagers don't get attracted to it, but I've got my mine carts, and I've got my uh, got my rails. I've got a bed. So I think it's time to start getting the villagers over here. I'm just gonna get two, and then I can just breed them up. But, yeah, I guess it's time to face the daunting task. So I'll see you guys in a minute.
All right, everyone. So, since I got the villagers in, I've made this little area, this little farm area, where I've got some potatoes and some carrots growing, and it just extends right off the side of the base. And that's what I'm going to be using for, at least right now, just for getting some food for the villagers. But now, I'm having a little bit of a crisis. I really don't want to go to the nether, but I really need to. I really need to get to find, I, knew, I really need to find a nether fortress so that I can start getting some blaze to advance myself further into the game. Some blaze powder and some blaze rods, so I guess here we go. Time to do some more exploration. <gasps> That's right, it's Halloween! <laughs> I forgot about that, I forgot I was going to be finding these guys. That's funny. I think I want to explore this way. Since there's a crimson forest and a basalt delta the other way. Oh, I don't want to hit a piglin, so I'm not punching, but that general direction. What we got down here? Some soul sand, lava level, okay. Oh, what was that? I think, yeah, there's some soul flames way off in the distance. Maybe this nether fog being off is a little bit cheaty. Let's see. What we got over here? A giant ravine. Hello, sir. Alrighty. Some bones. Some basalt. Or some basalt. Some soul sand valley stuff happening over there. Ooh, I do want to grab some glowstone while I'm in here. I actually didn't grab any the last time I was here. So I currently have... No glowstone. Okay, here's a basalt delta. Get some blackstone. Oh, that glowstone isn't as accessible as I thought it was going to be. I guess I'll start mining some netherrack so that I have some bridging material. I probably should have brought all my cobblestone with me. Well, not all of it. I have way too much, but some of it. I think I want to get over there, so I'm going to bridge over there from right here. Oh, God. Oh god, let me let me get over there, let me get over there, please, 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 please. Yes, 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 I do not want to deal with a ghast. Okay, where is he? There he is. God. Ghasts are I got my shield, but ghasts are still just so scary. Is there nothing up here? Okay, there's something up there. Mm, goodness. Goodness sakes. I don't want to be dealing with gas right now. I know I already said that, but I really need to drive home that point. I just do not like gas. I like them. I like them even less than I like phantoms. Most people dislike phantoms a lot. But dude, gas are tough. I mean, phantoms are tough, too. But all you need to do is sleep. Sleeping's pretty easy. With gas, you gotta build a gas switch. Like a mob switch in Sidecraft. Whew. Okay, now I'm... Ooh, jeez, these nether sounds, too. Everything's just freaking me out right now. Where do I want to go? I think that way looks promising. This way doesn't look promising. This way looks like it's going to drop me down to my death. And I come this way anyways. Oh, I'm fine. Let's see. Nothing. I'm not seeing anything, and my face is super close up to the screen. So I guess I'll explore this way. Oh, big drop. Big, big, big drop. Do I hear a magma cube, or just the flames are tricking me? I don't really know. This is not very fun for me. It's probably fun. I hope it's fun for you guys to watch. If you guys have any comments on the series, please let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear. Okay, I'm entering the Soul Sand Valley. And there's a skeleton. No thanks. I'm leaving this little sand valley. Okay. That was fun. That was a good time. I really need another fortress. I know that's I know that's the whole point of me coming here, so I don't really need to say that, but I just need I, I need one. Oh, I, I hope I'm not lost. I think I think I can probably find my way home. Most likely. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I am lost. 
Oh goodness. Hang on, that's... Where's my bridge? Where's my bridge? Wait, that was... Hmm... Interesting. I remember that lava wall feeling a lot further away. Pumpkin man. Hmm. I don't really know where I am. There's my bridge. Oh, goodness sakes. For goodness sakes. Oh, and here's where I came out. Boop ba doop ba doop ba doop ba doop ba doop ba doop. Okay. Oh, that, I still hear I heard that gas really faintly, and it's still really scary. Okay, hop down here. Run across here. Okay, I think I'm going to be able to backtrack. At least, if I, if I don't find a fortress, I'm going to find my way home. I know that much. I actually don't know my way home still, but I believe in myself, and that's what really matters. Giant magma cube. No thank you. I have my shield. My diamond sword. It's not even the best sword in the game anymore. This is just where I was earlier. Okay, now I'm actually lost. Did I come from down there? Oh, goodness. I hope I don't have to look back in the recording to find where I was. Yeah, I definitely didn't jump up that. Okay, I'm officially lost in the nether. I do not know where I'm going. Alrighty, phew, I found my way back. But now, I'm still in search of a fortress. What's that way over there? Oh, just mushrooms. And a crimson forest. Did I say f nether forest? I meant fortress. Oh, oh, that scared me. I didn't mean to zoom in on the lava. Hmm. Well, we've still... Yeah, that's, that's tough. Mission failed. Hopefully we'll get him next time. I honestly can't say at this point. I'm still really scared of journeying through the nether. And I don't know if I'm going to have the guts to go looking for a fortress. Alright everyone. That journey to the nether was completely unsuccessful. I did not do the one thing I wanted to do. But, I came back. And I saw this guy down here. Standing co What? Oh no, don't tell me he despawned. Oh no! Oh no! I found a zombie. I saw a zombie from my base. And he was standing right over here. And he was wearing a pumpkin so he wasn't on fire. So I grabbed stone bricks and a stick for him to hold to see if he could hold items. And he was already despawned. Oh, that's just one failure after another. Now. If you're wondering why I wanted to catch a zombie so bad, it's because of these guys right in here. The villagers, if they get killed by a zombie, well, not killed, but if they get con if they get converted to a zombie villager by a zombie, then you can cure them using a golden apple and a splash potion of weakness, and then their trades will get better. But I was really hoping to capture that zombie, and he wasn't into the idea, and that's really too bad. Now. Despite all the failure in today's episode, I am not ready to give up. And I guess it's not too much failure. We actually got villagers, and we got farm, and we got villagers. That's super big. And I think we enchanted in today's episode as well. But I'm not ready to give up on just based on bad nether and bad zombie. I think I want to get my villagers to have at least some trades. So I think I want to get my mending librarian finally and I'm gonna to try to trade try to try to get a mending book for my pickaxe so that I can continue to use it forever oh my goodness finally I've been going for about 45 minutes I think I finally got this mending book you sir are precious you're precious okay I cannot lose you you can hear in my voice that I've gone a little bit insane okay so now that I've got this guy I've pretty much just got to get paper, and then I can get a mending book, which will probably happen by next episode. But right before this episode's over, I want to either breed up some, breed up one baby villager, or I want to just replant the crops. 
I think I'm gonna, if I have enough, I'm gonna try and breed a baby villager. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. 18. Nice. That's a good net gain. And used to. Alrighty. 16. And the carrots. Just one. Alright. I'm cool with that. I actually. Oh. I don't have enough. I can go get bone meal. Some more, some more, some more, and some more. That's enough. Okay, now I have enough to breed a ba one baby villager. Alrighty. Let's hope this works. They've got enough beds. One of them's got a workstation. Let's see if this. Let's see if this happens. I'm gonna have to wait a minute. Come on, come on, come on. All right, double checked. It is twelve each so you just need to share mister I know you're very special I know you I know you have my mending trade but you that doesn't mean you can't you can't just like not share that's not very cash money of you to not share and now I'm just playing the waiting game again come on come on dude sharing is caring man <sighs> this might be a failed end to an episode but Thank you guys so much for watching again. I, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I keep on putting more and more time into these. And I know we're only in episode 3. But I've spent a lot of time on this episode. <laughs> like, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Well, not not a ton, but like, I've certainly put hours into this. And there's been, there's been a lot of recording. And now I'm just about to start editing. But thanks you guys again for watching. I really hope you're enjoying. If you have any comments, make sure to leave them in the comment section. Um, if you have any suggestions... I leave them in the comment section as well. The comment section is where everything is happening, except it, only if you guys want to comment. But <laughs> thanks, thanks again, guys. Thank you. I'm really enjoying making these episodes, and I'm just getting out of a rough term of school, so hopefully I'll be able to make some more. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. This has been Austin Otto. Bye-bye.